All right, gang. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's time for the show. Time for the show. It's your saltwater guide. I'm sorry I've been away from you for a couple days. We've been kind of busy. Had a lot of things going on. We've been up to Sea Cortez here, fishing on a beautiful boat, the Baja Vida, part of the uh, Baja Jerky family. We're up here fishing with his family. I'm going to have tons of phenomenal video to show you when we get done with this trip. But as you all know, it's Monday. It's Baja Jerky Monday. We always start the show off talking about a little Baja Jerky. Gang, you won't even believe this. Oh, and don't forget to leave stars. Help me feed my monkey. Leave some stars. Leave some badges. Leave all kinds of stuff to help us feed our monkey. But today we're talking about the fine art of fishing with anchovies. But first of all, I want to show you some new products that I was unaware of, but I've been eating them full speed on this trip on the Baja Vida. Gang, check this out. This is chili lime. This is what you can throw in if you drink beer. You know I don't drink, 32 years. But those of you that drink, you can put some of this chili lime on your beer around the edge of your, your beer can. In, float them in your beer mug. This stuff is insane. This is what everybody... I just like to put it on my beef when I'm eating. But uh, you, I know a lot of guys like to put this in their beer. A lot of, a lot of people like to put this in their beer. Chili lime. This... Makes everything taste like a street taco. You guys have tried the Baja Jerky Street Taco. You know you have because you've been following me for so long. But I'll tell you, now you got the seasoning. Just sprinkle on whatever you're eating, gang. You can't even believe the flavor of this stuff. It makes it makes your meat taste like a street taco from Cabo. All right. Next, another thing. Look at these. Beef sticks. Now we got beef sticks, gang. Baja jerky beef sticks. This is the street taco beef stick. We got, if you like hot, and you know I don't because I am i can't handle the spice, but the hot beef sticks, unbelievable. Another thing I didn't even know they had. I guess they've had it for a while. I'm out of the loop. I don't know how. But, man, the mango is unbelievable. This mango is so good. I've been mowing it every day on the boat. It is just insane. And then, you know, my very most favorite, the, or the sweet orange. Okay, gang, why am I talking about this? Because the guys over here at Bod Jerky have offered all of you followers 30% off of all their product. All you have to do is log on to their website at bodjerky.com. Put in the code YSWG when you're checking out in the number 30. YSWG, the number 30. You're going to save 30% on your jerky. And we're going to have a contest starting in July for everybody that orders some Baja jerky, any of their products at all. We're going to give away a lifetime membership to my website, lifetime membership with all the bundles and everything. You're going to get full access, lifetime membership. I don't know. It all depends on how long you live and how much it's worth, but it's going to be worth a lot. And you, we're going to pick one person for the month of July and you're going to win that package. And all you got to do to be in the contest is order some Baja Jerky product. And you put in the code YSWG and the number 30, and that lets us track who you are, and then we'll pick out one person. And the owner of Baja Jerky and myself will pick out the person. So order up. Justin, how are you, sir? Good to see you. All right, gang. So we're going to talk about the fine art of fishing with anchovies. And why are we talking about that today? Well, a lot of the bait barges right now up and down the coast have anchovies for bait. And a lot of people get really upset when they get to the bait barge and all they have is anchovies for bait. I see guys sit on their tool or tackle box or sit on their engine or sit on their engine hatch and start sucking their thumb. <laughs> oh, you got his anchovies. Oh, I can't fish with anchovies. Why can't you fish with anchovies? Because you don't know how to cast. That's not the bait company's fault that you don't know how to fish. It's not. When I was running charter boats up in California, I would drive 20 miles to get anchovies. If Newport Harbor had anchovies, I'd go to Newport Harbor. If Oceanside Harbor had anchovies, I'd go to Oceanside Harbor. You know why? Everything eats anchovy. Everything. Marlin, Wahoo, Sand Bass, Calico Bass, Thresher Sharks. Every fish eats anchovies. And you know what the best part about it is? You get way more bait. If you're going to go to the bait barge and get that big giant, what we call bohunk sardine, 
most of your bait tanks, you can put 20 of them in there. Some guys have a bigger bait tank and they can put 30. But gang, that big giant sardine, you know what that gets you? Get you a nibble. And I took a bucket of nibbles home the other day and Kelly and I cooked them up and we ended up not having anything to eat. Unbelievable why every, you know why everybody loves big giant sardines? Because everybody can't cast. It's the funniest damn thing you've ever seen. Oh, I hate anchovies. Why? And then I realized because you don't know how to cast because you haven't taken the time out of your busy day to learn how to cast. Once you figure out that anchovies are every fish, fish in the ocean's favorite food, then you'll learn that anchovies are the best bait to possibly have. Another thing you got to understand is you can't put a four-aught hook into an anchovy. You're going to have to get the hooks that match the bait. A number two or a number four hook, not a one odd or a two odd, a number two or a number four bronze hook, preferably, or black, not chrome. And then you're going to want to fish 15 or 20 pound line, not 50 or 6 pound because the anchovy can't swim it. And you're going to have to learn finesse fishing because you got anchovies for bait. You got a smaller bait. Another thing, and we, this is how we did it. I think until the probably right around the late 80s or early 90s, that's when the sardines started showing up in the bait tank. Before that, I've never, I never saw any running sport boats, fit, working on sport boats back in the 70s. We never had sardines, didn't even know what a sardine was. I remember the first time I saw the sardine in the bait tank, I was probably 14 or 15 years old and I was chumming. And I saw this fish swimming around in the bait tank. All the anchovies are swimming in a certain, and there's this one fish swimming in the bait tank that has little dots on their back, two or three little dots on his back. And I went up and I asked the captain, hey, what is this fish swimming around the bait tank? And he told me that that was a sardine and all the sardines are extinct because the Monterey canneries had fished them to extinction and there were no more sardines left on the California coast. Then lo and behold, four years, five years, six years, 10 years later, you can't catch anything but sardines when you're out fishing for bait. They're everywhere. So that goes along the lines of mother nature fixes itself if we just leave it alone. If you remember about 10 years ago, they told us that the bluefin tuna was extinct. Now there's more bluefin than there's ever been. Celebrating Father's Day yesterday, I had to think back to when my father was fighting for all of us back in 2014 when they had taken the bluefin tuna limit from 10 to zero. Yep, it was zero in 2014. And my father fought very, very hard for all of us. You can look it up, Donald Hansen. He fought very, very hard and got the limit to two. And thank God, because that's basically saved the sport fishing industry. So that goes right down the line with this sardine thing. Oh, no sardine. Gang, you got to learn how to fish with anchovies. You, it's a must. It looks like we're in an anchovy cycle. We're in a cold water cycle. That's why you're seeing these great counts on the fish counts of calico bass and sand bass and barracuda and bonita because they can all eat the anchovy. And hey, if this albacore shows up, gang, I'm, I'm sorry to inform you. But if you're throwing five, six, eight inch sardines at this albacore, you're not going to catch it. You're just not, it's not going to work. You're going to need the anchovies for this albacore fishery. And hopefully it happens. There's some experts that say we're just a year or two away from it happening. So we hope to God we all learn how to fish with this anchovy. If you do not know how to cast an anchovy, what I would suggest is taking a clothespin. If you don't know what a clothespin is. Look it up on the internet. I know there's a lot of young people who watch us every day. But take a clothespin, tie it to the end of your line, and go out in your backyard or go out on your street or go out on your boat and practice casting. And practice casting that clothespin. That's about what an anchovy weighs. And you learn how to cast an anchovy. And you, the nice thing about fishing with anchovies is when you get a bite, you usually catch a fish. Unlike the sardines, when you get a bite, you usually get to bring back a sardine that looks like it went through a meat grinder or it went through a law machine. It's all chewed up and you got nothing to show for it. 
Anchovy, on the other hand, when you get bit, usually you're going to catch a fish. And tuna eat them, sea bass eat them, marlin eat them, wahoo eat them. Every kind of fish that swims in the ocean loves to eat anchovies, gang. Also, when you pull up to the edge of the kelp bed and you start chumming anchovies, you start throwing them in the water, all of a sudden, Bass are doing cartwheels, barracuda are boiling, the yellowtails start boiling around the boat. Anchovies are a great chum. And then what we used to do, like I was trying to tell you, then I got off on a tangent. Back in the 80s, when all we had was anchovies, we would stop on the way out of the harbor and jiggle up mackerel so we had bigger bait to fish with. And we'd get 15 or 20 mackerel in the bait tank on our skiffs or on the sport boats. We'd put a couple hundred mackerel in the bait tank and then We'd go fish with those anchovies. Then when the yellowtail showed up or the big barracuda or whatever, you fly line a mackerel and get a white sea bass underneath the barracuda or fly line a mackerel when the bass are biting wide open and get a big yellowtail in the edge of the kelp or somewhere. So we always were jiggling up mackerel and you can go to Promar, ahi, US, or promar.com and get a nice sabiki rod and a handful of sabikis over there and put in the code YSWG and the number 10 and you'll save 10% on that stuff. But you're going to need some sabikis. You're going to need some sabiki rods. You're going to need some Baja jerky because you're listening to me now and you're going to catch fish and you're going to need protein and you're going to want to have these in your tackle box or it somewhere on your boat so you have that instant gratification of protein and now look at these beef sticks these fit anywhere on your boat you're going to want to have protein gang so that you can catch all those fish that you're going to catch now that you're subscribing to my channel don't forget my website yoursaltwaterguide.com right now go over there sign up you'll never have to suck at fishing again unless you're into that if you're totally into sucking at fishing and you love going out and catching nothing day in and day out and just following other boats around and watching them fish, do not go on my website because that'll piss you off because then you'll begin to catch fish and it'll take away all that. I know a lot of you'd like to catch nothing. I know that because I see you do it day in and day out. But if you're tired of sucking at fishing, go to my website, yoursaltwaterguide.com, log on there with access to thousands of spots for a small upgrade, also, game plans that we post every Thursday at 3.30 in the afternoon. You can't go wrong, gang. There's nothing out there. And now with the price of fuel at what it's at and what we're – I just heard something. Somebody said we're going to 8 bucks a gallon here by the end of July. You may want to know where to go. You may want to know what to catch. It's going to be harder and harder for you to justify catching nothing day in and day out. I, I don't know why you go out and catch nothing. It blows my mind. I'm offering you a website that'll help you to catch fish for a whole $4.99 a month, gang. You can't even buy a half a gallon of gas for that. <laughs> but you got to, well, I don't know, Captain Dave. I got to think about this. $4.99. I got to call my wife or I got to call my husband and see if it's okay. Gang, if you have to ask your spouse if it's okay to spend five bucks, you may not have a fishing problem. I'm just saying. You may not have a fishing problem. Gang, your saltwaterguide.com. I want you to catch fish when you go fishing. I do. Really, really bad. It means a lot to me. I've been trying to catch the last fish out of the ocean for a very, very long time. And every time I go out there, there's still fish in the ocean. So I need all of you to help me. That's why I built that website. So you'll all be successful when you go fishing. You can see all the testimonials. Check it all out. And I have a whole section on fishing with anchovies, which is my favorite bait in the whole world. I'd rather have anchovies than anything else. I'd way rather have anchovies than anything else. So learn how to fish with the anchovy. Learn how to cast. Learn the proper hook. Learn the proper line. And it'll all flow, and you'll end up being a very good fisherman once you learn how to do it. Don't listen to these haters over here on Insta or TikTok or whatever when they tell you, oh, go out there and figure it out on your own like I had to. Well, first of all, they're lying. They didn't figure it out on their own. Someone helped them and taught them along the line and they get their information from somebody. So don't believe what they're saying. And you got the greatest information ever. If you don't believe me, Google my name. If I am bullshitting you, there'll be a ton of negative out there. So go look, check it out, yoursaltwaterguide.com, your saltwater guide across all social media. I think I'll be in Loretto on Wednesday. 
That's our next fuel stop. So hopefully we'll have our show there in Loretto on Wednesday. It'll be uh, Promar Ahi USA Tuesday and Akuma Wednesday. We'll combine the two shows and we'll talk more about the phenomenal fishery going on in Southern California. Thank you all for watching today. Hope you enjoyed the show. Leave a bunch of comments. Don't, don't forget to leave some stars. Man, my monkey is starving. See ya.